Hello, welcome to a lesson on graph inequalities on a number line. So they're gonna give you one of these inequality, which is this one here is a greater than sign, less than sign, greater than or equal to sign, less than or equal to sign. Okay, so they're gonna give you one of these inequalities and an unknown number, and you have to graph um, showing what those unknown numbers are, okay? So before we get started, let me explain what that really means, okay? So let's go and talk about our example one real fast, okay? So we have to graph this. So for example, let's just say uh, x is an unknown number. x can be anything, but x has to be greater than negative 4. So there are many numbers that is greater than negative 4. In fact, it's infinite. For example, like 0. 0 is greater than negative 4. And how about 1? And even negative 3, and even like negative 3.99, or 1 million, or whatever, there are plenty of numbers that are greater than negative 4. So how do you show that? You can't write down all of the numbers, so you actually have to write that down or do a number line graph on it to show that x is greater than negative 4. We will do that in a second, okay? Now we're gonna introduce a couple more things. We can introduce this sign here is called greater than or equal to. Uh, sometimes it always goes at least. For example, let's just say you're gonna go eat at a restaurant, and that restaurant, everything on that menu is gonna be $10 or more. That means that you will need at least $10 to, to go eat at that restaurant, okay? You could bring more than 10, like 11, 12, or even like, um, you know, you could bring like $100, okay? But you could also bring $10. You could also bring, I don't know, like $3,000 to the restaurant and so on, okay? Or like even like $10.50 to the restaurant. So X could be a bunch of numbers, but it also could be 10. That's what this line means right here. It means that it also could be 10. Earlier, this says only greater than negative four. That means it cannot be negative four, okay? But for example two, it can be 10 also. So 10 is included, that's why there's a sign there. Now it also, this sign also means for this one, it's less than or equal to. And another word is at most. For example, let's just say you go to a restaurant and there's a sign that says at most 50 people. That means that in that restaurant, you can have 50 people, that's the most you can have, but you could definitely have less than 50, like, I don't know, like 49, or maybe like one or even zero, okay? So anything that's less than 50, and also it could be equal to 50. So that's what that line means, okay? And that will come into play later when we graph. All right, so let's go ahead and graph. <clears throat> so we have to show that this expression is true. So x can be anything, but x has to be less than negative 10. So what you need to do is take a number line like this, put negative 10 right in the middle, negative 10, and you want to circle that. All right, make sure you circle it. You don't circle that, that's actually partially incorrect, okay? And since it can x cannot be negative 10, you just leave it alone, okay? <clears throat> now, I, I would always say put another number that's bigger. Uh, so again, you come with any number you like. I'll just go ahead and go with 10 and make sure the same negative 20. All right, and as you can see, x has to be less than negative 10. So I don't know, like negative 11, negative 12, negative 20, negative 100, negative a million. So all of these numbers are less than negative 10. So you're gonna shade it like this. All right, let's go and do number two. H is greater than or equal to 4.6. Again, just put 4.6 in the middle, okay? Circle that. Now, h can be 4.6, so the difference between these two is that this one, since there's an equal sign, because it can be, you want to shade that part. All right? And again, it can be larger than, so again, just come up with a couple more numbers. I don't know, let's go like 8.6, and this one here would be 0 0.6, something like that, okay? So h has to be larger than 4.6. It can be 4.6. It's also larger than 4.6, like, I don't know, 5.6, and so on a million, a thousand, whatever. Okay, so all of these numbers here, and you have to shade it all the way to the end of the arrow, letting people know that it just keeps on going. All of these numbers on this side is larger than 4.6. All of these numbers larger than 4.6. This side here is untrue. H cannot be this side. H is everything on this side. All right, so we'll move on to um, number three. So again, put negative 80 in the middle right here. That's all you have to do. Okay, circle it. 
Now, since there's no equal sign, leave that circle blank, okay? Now, focus on a variable. The variable's on the right side now. Don't get that confused. Just ask yourself, okay, this letter here, okay? Um, is that gonna be larger than negative 80 or smaller? It looks like this sign here tells you that negative 80 is less than T, so that T has to be bigger, okay? Let's go ahead and do a number bigger, 100, a negative 180. Okay, so T has to be larger than negative 80. Okay, or just basically, this is like the mouth. Okay, and it eats the bigger number. So our answer is T. Remember, our answer is the variable. Okay, and T tells you that it's larger than negative 80 because it eats T. Okay, so everything here is larger than negative 80. Remember, when it's larger, you're looking for a larger number, you shade to your right. Okay, so you shade everything to your right, like right here. All right, so all these numbers are true, negative 70, uh, 0, 50, 100, 3,000, 1 million, all of these represent T, okay? Let's move on to number four. <clears throat> uh, again, put one-fifth in the middle right here, okay? You don't have to write another fraction, in fact. You could just say, oh, okay, this number is 10, this number is negative 10, something like that. It doesn't have to be exact, okay? So circle one-fifth, and again, W can be, it's okay, so there's an equal sign, you shade this part. All right, now again, focus on W, and ask yourself, is W bigger than one-fifth or smaller than one-fifth? Again, when you look at the variable, ask yourself, is it bigger or smaller? And obviously, it's eating the one-fifth, so W is smaller. This is one-fifth is greater than W. W is smaller, okay? So smaller is everything on this side, like zero, negative one, negative two, negative 10, negative 50, and so on. So everything on this side is true. Okay, last two. Again, okay, put 7 point negative 7.4, 1, 4. One number bigger, 10, negative 20. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, okay? Just those numbers will help you. Circle this one here. There's an equal sign and shade it. Now, from there, you pause for a second and ask yourself, X, is X bigger or smaller than negative 7.14? It's eating the negative 7.14, so X is smaller. Smaller is everything on this side. That number will help you remind you that it's smaller on that side. Remember, the smaller number is always on the left, the bigger number is always on the right. All right, okay, last one, number six, put 250 right here. Uh, let's go with 1,000 and negative, uh, I don't know, 800, something like that, doesn't matter, circle this one, okay? And do not shade it. Now ask yourself, when you get to this point, ask yourself, is R bigger or smaller than 250? And it's eating R, so R is bigger, so you shade to your right. All right, uh, that's the end of the lesson. This is how you graph inequalities. Thank you.